Greetings everyone. Welcome back to Storytime Recaps. In this video, I'm going to recap one of the films from 2015, the Divergent series Insurgent. Before we start, I hope your day be filled with sunshine and smile. Enjoy the story. She claims that peace didn't seem possible to achieve. After the war, she now believes that peace is possible as long as they eradicate the divergents, who are their only enemy, from the city. Simultaneously, Janine's men visit the prior residence in abnegation, and take a box that has the symbols of all the factions on it, supposedly containing a message from the city's founders. To open it, they need a divergent. With her lover Four and brother Caleb, tries prior flees to her Amity home. When she gets close to the Amity residence, they all back away. Natalie claims that Tries killed her and everyone around her, and Tries witnesses her parents Andrew and Natalie covered in blood. This is just a bad dream. Actually, Tries is getting used to living in Amity with Caleb, Four, Peter, and Marcus, Four's father. No matter how much Marcus wants to talk to his son, Four stays far away. Tries mentions wanting to return to Erudite and murder Janine in order to stop more deaths during lunch. Caleb contends that this is a terrible plan. Peter remarks that he won't get Caleb killed the way Tries killed her parents. Tries lashes out at Peter with a knife, cutting his cheek in the process. Tries receives a call from Johanna Reyes, the head of Amity, informing her that her presence in the supposed peaceful community is disruptive and that they might be asked to leave. Johanna cautions Tries not to allow her desire for vengeance to control her. Next, a group of vans driven by Eric and Max burst through the gates in search of divergence. As Marcus gets in the way of the soldiers aiming their weapons at them, for watches as Marcus is knocked unconscious. The three manage to get past the soldiers and arrive at the train tracks. Holding off the soldiers, for narrowly avoids being hit by the train as he jumps over the tracks. After getting off the train, the three come across Edgar leading a sizable group of factionless individuals. After Edgar nearly shoves Caleb off the train, they begin to viciously attack the three. When Fur introduces himself as Tobias Eden, they cease their assault. The factionless bring the three to their leader and Evelyn, Four's mother. After realizing who he is, she says that she regretted leaving her son behind and that she staged her death when Fur was six years old because Marcus was too abusive. In order to counter Janine and her forces, she intends to bring the factionless and Dauntless together. Fur declines to participate in his mother's schemes in any way. The following morning, Caleb goes in a different direction while Tri and for travel to Kander. Tries and for meet up with Christina and Tori, among the remaining Dauntless, in Kander. Unaware that Tries had to murder their friend Will while he was hypnotized, Christina asks Tries if she has heard from him. Tries claims not to have heard anything. After that, Tries and for are captured and brought before Jack Kang, the leader of Kander. He doesn't think they're telling the truth when they say Janine launched the attacks and then falsely accused them of her crimes. Jack is persuaded to allow the two of them to go on trial by four. After receiving a truth serum injection, Four faces the Canders. He explains to them how he intended to join the factionless, but changed his mind after falling in love with Tries and joining Dauntless as a way to escape his abusive father. To Christina's dismay and ire, Tries ascends with the serum inside of her and confesses that she caused the deaths of numerous people, including Will and her parents. Janine is testing the divergence to see who can open the box back in Erudite. After placing a girl in a simulation, she passes away. Janine concludes that in order to finish the assignment, a very special divergent needs to be brought in. After invading, Eric and his soldiers begin shooting the Kanders in the neck with the simulation serum. After gathering a line of people, he begins to scan each one to determine which divergent each person needs. After that, Eric looks at a young child who is 40% divergent. Tries shoves him over before he has a chance to shoot her. Upon scanning Tries, Max notices that she is completely divergent. When Four arrives, he starts fighting Eric and puts a gun to his head, forcing him to the ground. Inquiring as to whether Four can bear death in the same way that Eric has, Four gives him a headshot. Entering, Peter professes his allegiance to Erudite. He advises Janine to appeal to Tri's humanity in order to persuade her to surrender. Christina, a young boy, and a girl called Marlene are standing over a ledge when the Sim serums kick in. They chant together for Tries to come forward or else more people will perish, while Tori and Tries hurry to save them. While Tori grabs the boy and Tries grabs Christina, 
Marlene trips and falls, dying. An incredibly guilty tries determines that in order to stop more deaths, she needs to turn herself into Janine. As soon as she arrives at Erudite, she is greeted and shown to the simulation room. Before it starts, Caleb, who has returned to Erudite, meets Tries in the simulation room. Tries needs to unlock the box by going through a simulation of every faction because she is stuck with multiple wires. A dauntless sim serves as her first exam. She sees her mother in a building while she is in the city's ruins. Natalie phones Tries to ask for assistance as the building catches fire. She seizes a pipe and ascends to the summit. After a little tumble, she catches herself and climbs inside the house to hold on to her mother. Once she makes it through this, she has to go through the candor sim, where she tells her mother sim that she is afraid most of the time and just wants to be safe. Suddenly, Fur shows up, bursting her out behind him along with others. Tries pulls a gun and lies on the ground facing Peter. She continues after sparing his life. At that point, she understands that Fur isn't real, and she passes Erudite sim. By saving Peter's life, she also succeeded in passing the abnegation sim. Tries begins to run low on energy, so Janine reluctantly lets her take a break before moving on. Tries is placed in the Amity simulation as the tests go on, which puts her in conflict with Janine. She is attacked by Tries, and as a result, the building surrounding her blows up and falls, crashing hundreds of feet to the ground. She looks dead as a result, which frustrates Janine. When Peter shows for Triss's still body, for becomes enraged with Peter. Tries then gives a gasp of breath, and Peter, now assisting the heroes, leads for in attacking the guards. Tries is allowed to rerun the Amity simulation once Peter logs into the computer system. Since she is the one person she despises more than Janine, she must battle herself this time. Real Tries knows that she will be able to forgive herself in due time, despite some teasing Tries about the deaths of her loved ones. The box unlocks once she passes this. Everyone is aware of the message which is that everyone in the city was a part of an experiment to see if humanity could survive, and that the Divergence would be the real world saviors. If this message could be deciphered, it would indicate that everyone is prepared to leave the city. Janine gives the order to execute four, and tries, and to hide the box from view. Then the factionless army attacks, taking Janine, and the box with it. Every faction is exposed to the same message. Everyone begins moving toward the city's walls and exterior. Tries is hailed as a hero for having guided them to a novel realization. As everyone moves past the city, Janine observes from the window of her cell. After sneaking up on her, Evelyn shoots Janine in the back of the head, killing her. 